Today we are doing solar panel project. <laughs> We're gonna add another panel to the um, roof right here. Originally we have 150 watt solar panels to the house battery and 100 watts to the chassis battery. And we found that um, 150 watts is actually not enough for us to um, go through the weekend uh, without hooking up and without um, going anywhere. If we just park the van for the whole weekend um, at a campground and we watch TV, turn on the lights, uh, sometimes it's not enough. So um, what my husband did is he, he switched the, um, the two big panels, the two 100 watt panels, he connected for it to go to the house battery. And um, now with, in place of the 50 watts solar panel, we're gonna put in a 100 watt panel in this place, like right here. That way we're gonna get 300 watts for the, um, for the house battery. So we won't have any solar panel to the chassis. But um, we're okay with that because even when we're at home, we always plug it in on the side of our house. And so um, it will charge the chassis battery for us too. Right? Seems like that, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And, and we, we have battery tender where we need it anyway. Yes, and we always go somewhere every weekend. So <laughs> we always turn the van on to drive around. So we're not worried that the chassis battery is gonna die on us. So let's do this project. Okay, first we have to unplug these two connectors. Yeah. Don't want to ruin my nails. <laughs> <laughs> what about my nails? <laughs> yeah, so everything's out now. In order to take the panels, um, this panel off, we need to take off the cock that um, covering the screws here. And we took some out already, so just um, unscrew these screws. I forgot to give you power tools, honey. <laughs> I know, right? This is gonna take forever, honey. How do you take this one out? <laughs> That's in the corner, huh? I know. Wait, how? We need another screwdriver. Like what? So, for this, we are using this special tool. <laughs> <laughs> so it fits in here. Wait. Ah. It's working. Okay. I think you can take it by hand now, honey. Ah, finally. Okay. Ew. Don't fall. I know. <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah, let's get this out. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Let's say bye to this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we just gonna have to clean all the adhesive off and prepare for the new panels. We have to put this um, sealant material in these um, screws, holes right here, just to cover these up. Ow. Look at all this rust on the roof. After we took out the panel, so let's see if we could polish it out. Uh. Whoops, way too much. Oh my gosh. It's okay, I put, I put the extra one down there. <laughs> you know how to do this, honey? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I polish the cars all the time. Oh, 
almost all gone. Good yeah. job, honey. Looks so much better now. Okay, we have to clean the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. That was the worst part. I know. That was the worst part. Okay, everything is nice and clean now. So we can start to seal the um, screw holes with the silicone sealant. Okay, since we have three panels now, so we have to switch from this one to two to one to three to the negative side. Like that. For the positive side, we need to put in the fuse. Inline fuse. Inline fuse. Just snap it in. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Easier than taking it out, so. And then we just snap it in here. Yeah. Let's just connect the existing panel back into this um, new connector. And then we're just going to take a break, uh, eat lunch, and uh, while we wait for the new sealant to seal, uh, to set. And then when we come back from lunch, we just put the new panel on. The next step is we're going to try to see where we um, need to lay down the panel. So the panel needs to lay straight this way. So we're just going to mark it so that when we lay the panel back down, we know where it's supposed to end. The edges end right here. Can and I you want to do right here also. <laughs> Okay, let's just take the panel out so we could put the um, primer, the tape primer on these ridges. This is where we're going to put the double sided tapes on. Let's put on some gloves. <laughs> just like going to work. Okay, I need to clean the surfaces just to make sure it's really clean before I put the primer on. Let's paint the primer on. Whoa. Okay, let's put this tape down. Scissor. <laughs> Assistant. <laughs> assistant <laughs> I'm just gonna use the roller just to make sure it um, stick really good to the bottom surface here so this is where we're gonna position the panel we're gonna put that end in first we're going to take the tape, the first tape out, and just put that end in first, and then just, and we're just going to lay it this way. Okay, so I'll do the third one here. Okay, just lift it up and pull the tape off. The assistant is doing all the dirty work. <laughs> there. Let's hope it will get stuck here really good. Can you imagine if when we drive and it just fly off? <gasps> That's not gonna happen. We have more than 10 feet of uh, 3M double-sided tape here, and then we're <laughs> gonna put the other tape on after this. Okay. 
just to make sure the panel stays on there, we're going to put another uh, tape. What is it called? What? Eternal bond. Eternal bond. Tape. Tape. So, I'm going to put it like this for all the ridges. Just make sure it stays down. Okay, let's connect the wire into the main one here. And then I think we're just gonna have to rearrange this, make yep. it fit nicely. And we're done. And then we're done. Let's measure the output before and after. All right, thank you for watching.